Welcome to the Tomosi Business Training Series. The basis of these sessions is to support the Tomosi Group staff and management to raise their capabilities and performance. This is also a platform to share our experience with young entrepreneurs making an effort to build their startups in Uganda and across Africa. Hello, good morning. We spent the last two weeks in two specific areas of the power of good presentation to a prospective customer. We started with the three principles, which are, just to remind ourselves, preparation, adopting one central theme to make it easier for the customer to understand us, and not forgetting the power of telling good stories that help you convert the room into seeing the world your way. The idea is actually to make friends in the room before you convert them, because conversion can often be slow and tedious, but like ability, faster. The second presentation, that was the first one, the second presentation within this larger theme of how to present, how to do a winning presentation, we dealt with your need for checking who the authority and or decision makers in the room are to ensure that you develop the presentation to their very best of tests. This is key because their mindsets and facts that they know will greatly influence the outcome of your presentation. We also spoke, uh, I remember, about the need for aligning your credentials with the customer's request so that you can bring fresh insights. And we kept combining those words, fresh and insights, because an insight can be old. Uh, freshness means that you're bringing something that is newer to the room. So you bring these fresh insights into the room and you finally hand objections in a mature and professional manner. This is the last two weeks and the two segments we had. Now, none of the above principles I've described comes easy. None of this will come easy to you, but I can tell you something. Practice does a fantastic job in the end. I hope you know about one of my favorite authors, the 57-year-old, pencil-thin, large mop of hair Canadian man called Malcolm Gladwell. This fellow popularized the principle he called the 10,000-hour rule. He argues that it takes up to 10 years or the equivalent of 10,000 hours of practice to move from a novice to an expert at something. You need to read his book called The Outliers. That's why this principle is is fully described. That you need to do this whether in music or sports or design, even public speaking, that if you practice consistently, you get it right. Well, Gladwell uses many examples of professional athletes, violinists, uh, etc. But he seems to talk about what I think is generic practice. Generic practice is where you really, you are going out every morning to exercise, but you really are not doing very specific things, either to change this muscle or to strengthen your uh, running or whatever it is you do. Now, however, I know if we as a team are deliberate, these two words are different, generic and deliberate. If we are deliberate about practicing anything we have learned and even find someone to mentor or coach us, I think we can beat this rule in much less time. The idea, therefore, is self-exertion. Each of us at an individual level to exert ourselves and get it right. But for now, let us just know that nothing of any significance comes easily in life. Some of the things we aim at in life and in business, in training of this nature that we're doing, can even take our lives. But they will leave a base and a rich foundation for the next generation, the next worker, the next company, or the next leadership. We call this last segment, aiming at victory, very deliberately very intentional because we want to hone into winning in that presentation room. We're closing in and therefore we want to win.
And therefore, there are four key things I want to end with. Please listen to me carefully. Let's call these things the last four rounds in your weapon. The first one, keep the offensive on. In the army, it is better to fight an offensive battle than a defensive one. Why? Because when we launch and keep the offensive on, it means we seize, we retain, we exploit, exploit the initiative in the room rather than trying to defend our position. A defensive presentation, just as in a defensive battle, is difficult to fight because you waste resources responding to anecdotal stuff, hearsay, rumors, etc., not knowing what the next question or enemy will be or where they will emerge from. Number two, decide and focus on the key objective. We cannot launch an offensive attack and maintain it without a clear objective. Therefore, I'd like you to agree with your team before you get into that room what you really want to achieve in this presentation. Number three, simplicity. Simplify everything. Avoid jargon in that pitch. Avoid this sense of I know it all. That mentality is very bad. Speak the language instead of the client. Speak the language the client understands well. Show empathy and knowledge of the client's habits and some of their attitudes. Don't underestimate that local client knowledge and the way they do things. Most importantly, you will grow your career. Number four and final bullet in your weapon. It is called seek unit of command in a pitch. Now, while we must remove every doubt who is in charge of the presenting team, it is important that there is unity in both spirit, in essence, exhibited by the team. There should be the positive sharing of resources, of roles, of efforts before the client's eyes in that room. The client must see that, but you too who are presenting must feel that. Huh? Before undertaking a battle, there has to be an answer to the first question of who is in charge of the forces and the operation. Who is in charge of the team? Where does the buck stop? You must establish authority and responsibility before so that the team knows who is attacking which segment while in the room. If you don't, there's a high chance that you won't get through the presentation in the room. You won't get the time to finish what you came to do because there will be a necessary disorder which portends more trouble if you get the job. I hope by the time you fire this last round of bullets I've mentioned, which is seeking unit of command in a pitch, the competition in the room is flattened. Enjoyed this session? We would like to hear from you. Please give your feedback using the Google form attached or email us at info at and visit our website on www.tomosigroup.ug or tune into the Tomosi Business Series on Facebook and YouTube to enjoy more of our weekly training podcasts. You can also visit our offices at Tomosi Business Park, Luzira, Fort Bell Road, 